the problem and really the opportunity for financial advisors when it comes to estate planning is huge. But who's on your side? Who's helping you? The answer sitting next to me over here. Danny Larfing, right from my really a great partner that I, I already love, which is Wealth.com. Danny, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. So Danny, talk to me a little about not just Wealth.com, but really the problem here that exists with legacy planning. You know, for advisors, estate planning is so critical if they want to be truly holistic, but yeah. still so many advisors are kind of leaving that on the table here because frankly, they don't have the tools to be able to handle this. So you need to have the estate plan in place if you want the holistic wealth picture to be solidified. Now, if you think about the gap that exists in the marketplace today from the advisor's point of view downstream to their clients, advisors, to your point, they haven't really had access to the technology to deliver estate planning guidance to their clients at greater scale. Why is this important? Well, number one, 93% of clients, and this is from a recent Spectrum Group study, 93% of clients expect their advisor to deliver estate planning guidance to them. Yet, as that study reports, only 22% of clients feel like they're adequately getting their estate planning needs met from their financial advisor. So there's a big mismatch between client expectation and then the advisor's delivery on that expectation. Then if you look at another study that was actually from January of this past year, it was a McKinsey study, so right. you know it's reputable, right? Yes. Um, it asked high net worth and also mass affluent clients, what are the services that you most want from your wealth institution in addition to financial planning? The number two response was tax planning. Okay. What was number one? Legacy legal planning, legal yeah. services as defined as estate planning, uh -huh. right? So really fundamentally, the way that we view it at Wealth.com is clients have this expectation of getting a family office-like experience from their advisors, and that is inclusive of the financial planning, the tax planning, the estate planning, to deliver on this holistic experience. Uh, and so advisors that are not meeting that expectation, I mean, they're really going to be looking at the great wealth transfer and seeing a problem on their hands. And we can talk a little bit about the great wealth transfer. I, I mean, I, I'm fascinated by it because I think this great wealth transfer is a huge opportunity, but frankly, let's stop for one second and just talk to me a little bit about what wealth.com is doing ultimately to help fill this gap for financial advisors. Yeah, I mean, look, the way that wealth.com views and advisors book a business is that it's not homogenous. You have clients that are at different stages along their estate planning journey. Mm -hmm. Some clients, they don't have anything in place. They have no will, they have no trust. I mean, the stats that are out there are frightening. 66% of Americans literally don't even have a will in place, mm -hmm. okay? So you have that segment of your client base that they just need to get their documents in order. Um, healthcare directives, financial powers of attorney, these are all really important things that are looped into estate planning as a whole. Then you have clients that have existing estate plans, but that are 10 years old and they haven't been reviewed and the client has no idea if you know, what's in them is accurate and up to date. And then you have the ultra high net worth clients that have the alphabet soup of trust, the slats, the eyelets, the grats, and trying to wrangle all this together and get a grapple over the complexity of this client's estate plan, um, it's challenging. And so Wealth.com literally delivers a suite of solutions across each stage that the client might be on along their journey from the document creation to an AI extraction technology to pull out the key information from an existing estate plan. Which that, blew me away on the demo today. Well, I, was, I was blown away by that. Well, thank you. And, and the cool thing is, it's not just pulling out the information, it then feeds it instantly into a visual report. Right. And so it's like finding that connective tissue between where is that friction point for the advisor to deliver the value to the client. Because look, not all advisors are going to be experts in estate planning. And they shouldn't be. They should lean on a company like Wealth.com to be able to deliver that estate planning function to their, their clients and let us be the experts. So we will extract all the key information. We will then put it into a visual flow chart report, okay? Let us take on that almost outsource estate planning um, attorney role for you. And I guess I look at it with the word we started with, which was holistic. If advisors really want to be holistic for their clients, the data that you have in those tools, inside those reports, allows you to really look at their entire life and also look at ways to not just serve them, but the rest of their families as well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you think about, again, not to go back to the great wealth transfer, but I am going to go back to the Please. great wealth transfer. 
Uh, we think too often in terms of like these big numbers, $84 trillion going, you know, changing hands over the next 20 years. When you break it down, it's like 85% is going to go to beneficiaries and heirs, 15% to charities. Then from the beneficiaries and heirs, it's 44% will go to Gen X, 40% to millennials, and then 16% will go down to Gen Z. Who are all these folks? They're more digitally inclined generations, but they're also folks, if you look at that 44% in Gen X and 40% in millennials, they already have their own families, yes. right? They already have their own homes. And so as the assets are going to transition over, advisors are in a prime position to not only retain the business of existing clients, but use this as an opportunity to prospect for new clients. Because the average American that's going to be inheriting assets through the great wealth transfer expects to receive north of $700,000 in that inheritance. What an amazing prospecting tool to use estate planning to say, hey look, I know that you probably don't really care if I'm going to put you in index funds or a mutual fund or whatever, but I'm going to get you set up with a trust or I'm going to get you set up with a will or let me review your existing documents and we can uh, determine if you need to make any updates to them. That's providing real tangible value today so that when the assets do transfer, you're in that prime position to ultimately capitalize. Amazing stuff. Wealth.com providing real tangible um, evidence and real tangible uh, solutions for, for advisors already. Danny, thank you so much, man. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. For Edge TV, I'm Matt Ackerman. It's Danny from Wealth.com. Thanks so much for joining us.